My grandmother founded this company in 1963 after an extensive career in direct sales with other companies. She left those experiences with a bad taste in her mouth and she wanted to do something about them to change opportunity that was out there for women. So she sat down and she was going to write a book about how to treat women in corporate America. When she finished writing down the list of good experiences and her list of bad experiences, what she really thought she had was a business plan. And all she needed was the right structure and the right product to go out and put these philosophies in action. The foundation of the company is built on the personal values that guided her own life. Integrity, honesty, and an unwavering belief in the golden rule. She had one goal, to help women live the life of their dreams. And with only a handful of products, my father by her side, she helped those dreams come true. Now, over 40 years later, the Mary Kay business is still one of the premier opportunities for women. And her principles are still the guiding force of our company today. For everyone in our corporate office, and more than one and a half million independent beauty consultants around the world. A lot of people talk about being in Mary Kay, and that's because there's such a great support system. What's really the case is that when you sign your independent beauty consultant agreement, you're starting your very own business. And it's up to you whether to start big or start small, to take it fast or maybe go at a little slower pace. It really is all about what you need in your life. There are some misconceptions about Mary Kay, so let me tell it to you straight because there are some important points to make. And the most important is this, we are a direct sales company. There's only one wholesale sale, that's from the company to the independent beauty consultant. And there's only one retail sale, that's from the independent beauty consultant to her customer. There are no levels of wholesalers in between. The focus of an independent beauty consultant's business has always been on selling fabulous Mary Kay products. Beauty consultants quickly find that once people try Mary Kay products, they fall in love with them. If you choose to add team members, the step-by-step -step career path can guide you and you can earn commissions on their sales, which are paid to you directly by the company. And once you decide that, then there are no limits on your success. You can literally share the opportunity with women anywhere in the country. And at the heart of Mary Kay are the products. We strive to really set the standard for consumer safety and customer satisfaction. And for that reason, we produce and manufacture the majority of our products in our own state-of-the-art high-speed manufacturing plants. But well, we work very hard to stay on top of technology. For example, we have a lot of business tools on the internet that allow you to manage your business on a day-to-day -day basis much easier. And in fact, over 90% of our orders from independent beauty consultants come through the internet to the company. The Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation was founded in 1996 to solidify and put structure around the charitable giving that our independent sales force was already pursuing. Our causes are the prevention of domestic violence and the eradication of cancers that affect women. Since our foundation in 1996, the number of grants we've given out has increased dramatically from a few hundred thousand dollars back then to over four million dollars this last year. When it's time to make a business decision at Mary Kay, it's really easy because it all boils down to what's in the best interest of our independent beauty consultants. Because we know that our success is directly connected to the success of our independent beauty consultants. Mary Kay has been in business for over 40 years, carrying a proven track record of success, no matter what the economy has thrown at us. Like my father and my grandmother before me, I have no doubt that Mary Kay is here to stay. And every single year, it just keeps getting better.
I started my Mary Kay business as a way to get out of credit card debt. I had a ton of credit card debt and student loans that I had racked up. Was newly married and just needed some extra money. Had a great job in pharmaceutical sales. I thought about going to get a part-time job. But then when I thought about the time that that would take, at night, being away more, it just wasn't adding up. And quite honestly, I lived paycheck to paycheck. I definitely had more month than money. <laughs> Truly working just to make ends meet, and um, I just couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel only because I, I had so much debt, so much debt. After all those years as a nurse, because I've nursed 23 years, so I was at the top of uh, my income. So I would have not been able to make more. And for me, it was, oh, so depressing. I would see the kids growing, the grocery bills getting bigger, and the running shoes getting longer, and the, <laughs> and the jeans bigger and everything. And, and you say, hey, wow, my salary is not getting bigger. But the kids' needs are bigger. So when I was introduced to the Mary Kay opportunity and made the decision that it could fit into my life, I did uh, make the commitment to spend about four to six hours a week with my business and I would work my business on Monday nights and Wednesday nights and Saturday mornings. The women are trying to be the mom and they're trying to work full-time jobs, they're trying to do this, and so it's all in willing to make that short-term sacrifice for the long-term benefit. So I, I did sit my son down and I said, you know, I know I'm already away from you for many hours a week, but you know, this is temporary. Mary Kay ended up being the perfect opportunity and the money that I was making was great. <laughs> It's really great. My husband was happy. I was happy. To have the financial choices that I've gained through Mary Kay to be able to put my son in a private school. And I love it that in a few years when he goes to, off to college that he'll be able to pick whatever college he would like to go to. It was definitely going to be a step out of a comfort zone where you're, you know, leaving, I guess what most people would consider a really good job and a company car. But at that point, I had matched and exceeded my income. Inside. You also saw that side of it. And honestly, had, early on, you know, I think that's probably what I was thinking more of, the financial mm -hmm. end of it, rather mm -hmm. than like the whole, like her being happy with what she's doing mm -hmm. and the effect it was going to have on the kids as well. So, I mean, I wasn't really thinking about all of that. My biggest pride is to be able to say that my children are, are out of university right now with no student loans. So this is very important for me. Very important to see our kids start in life with no forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of student loans. And now they are in their master degree and we're still gonna be able to help them through their master, which I would have not been able to do as a nurse, you know, because uh, my income was that's it. Great. <laughs> the prizes you can earn are phenomenal just for doing, you know, what we were already going to be doing. Why buy them when you can earn them? Well, currently I am driving my fifth career car, which is my third pink Cadillac. And my son loves it because when I drive on field trips, everyone always is in line to drive in the pink car. And then just the fabulous trips I've earned through my Mary Kay business places I could have only have ever have dreamed of going to, places where I feel like I'm walking through a postcard. And of course, the, the vacations I'm able to take my son on. We swam with the dolphins, trips to Disney World. It's just really memories, memories that last a lifetime. So we're living a debt-free life, which is a wonderful place to be. Paid off all of our student loans, mine and my husband's. Being able to use that money for other things, saving for college, and being able to be with the children. What Mary Kay has allowed me to do is allow me to spend more time in real estate, which is what I wanted to pursue originally. He's always supported me in my dreams of uh, being a Mary Kay sales director, and, and so now it's, it's nice to be able to allow him to realize his dreams as well. I've seen checks, I've seen people changing their lifestyles. Our own lifestyle has changed a lot. So there's a proof there. You can make money and, and, and you can grow.
money-wise, Mary Kay has helped us uh, have a better life, family life. Well, after renting for almost my entire life, the fact that because of my consistent hard work over time with my Mary Kay business, I'm in the process of purchasing my very first home. I am very excited because we get a dog, first of all. A small dog. <laughs> yeah, and having an extra room to like put my foosball table in and all my toys and stuff. <laughs> As a single mom, being able to make that purchase on my own makes me very proud, very proud. I came to the United States when I was 18 years old. I didn't speak English at all. Um, I worked hard, hard uh, like washing dishes, working at restaurants, waiting tables. It was a transition for me and my family. Right out of college, I landed my dream job. I loved television news for the fact that it was exciting and that it was always new every day. I loved the fast pace of it. I really felt like I was devoting everything I was to my career. When I was working in pharmaceutical sales, my schedule was pretty much made for me. Lots of quotas, lots of pressure to meet those, those quotas. Coming home, you know, dinner, you know, going to bed, waking up to the, the same thing. As a single mom, I worked 50 to 60 hours a week, and of course, I was definitely not paid what I'm worth. You know, I was 25 years old, and I just, I really had accepted the fact that this was how my life was going to be. I love to care for people, I love to nurture people, but what I didn't like was there was no advancement. I had a boss, and that boss was telling me not, not, not to take a holiday, or uh, your kids are sick, well, have them babysit, you know? It was career first, career second, and career third. And I just don't think I was really ready for that. Just that everything in my life was controlled by my job. So I started working my business just a couple of hours a week, where I could fit it in. And something amazing happened. I completely fell in love with this opportunity. And it was the most positive thing that I was around in my life. All the advantages that we have of being your own boss, of having your own business at home, setting your own hours, all the support from the company that we have, everything, everything appeals to me. I found the more I did it, the more I wanted to do it, and the more I found time to do it, and I could just be myself and be successful. She wakes up every morning just, just wanting to go to work. The night before, she's thinking about what she can do the next day, and. It makes her happy, so, I mean, ultimately that makes me happy. If she had stayed as a nurse, she would still be a nurse without any promotion because her boss is still there. <laughs> hey. People were purchasing from me and they were giving me money and before leaving they were kissing me on both cheeks. And I thought, my goodness, you know, <laughs> they, they trust me, they love me, and that was very important for me. When you come to the United States, there's people that are well educated and there's people that are not. But Mary Kay offers the opportunity to everybody. And it doesn't matter what language you speak, you can start your business. Do you have support from the company and the literature that we have, the DVDs and CDs and the education. Maybe you haven't been able to put the figures on. It just seems that there's not a cookie cutter mold of what a Mary Kay consultant is like. There are so many diverse women that are my dear friends and my customers and consultants. And some of them came from corporate America and some of them don't. Some of them have kids or husbands and some are single like I was when I started. I would have to say the personal growth was the biggest gift that I've been given through Mary Kay. Just being stretched and encouraged and challenged and being more bold and just more sure of myself as a woman. And I really love that the girlfriend part of this and it's really about building relationships that last a lifetime. I 
I was able to quit my full-time job. And in fact, I call that day my Independence Day. I left working for television news, and I've not looked back. I'd always had ambitions to have my own business. It's something I always wanted to do. Fortunately, with Callie's successful Mary Kay, it gave me the opportunity to step out much sooner than I had anticipated. So he has an office and mine is across the hallway and we're both able to work our businesses from home and it's just been so exciting to see that the decision I made to leave corporate America gave him the courage to leave his and do what he had always wanted to do too. Oh, that's a good boy. In pharmaceutical sales, you don't get to choose the people that you work with. And in Mary Kay, I get to choose all the women that I'm around and all the women that I share the opportunity with and share the products with. And it's a wonderful place to be because you get to choose who you work with. And that's a perk in itself. <laughs> you know, I also know people that say that it would be great for someday when they have kids. And I think that's great. But I'm so glad I started now so that I was able to build my customer base and I was able to, you know, build my team. The positiveness of Mary Kay uh, was really important for me, uh, was making my life much more easy, was making me feel better. I was more happy inside. What I found is the more people that I help and assist in getting to their dreams, the more my own dreams are realized. I was 14 when my mom started her Mary Kay business. And she wasn't even the most likely candidate. She didn't wear makeup, just really didn't know a whole lot of people where we lived, but she saw the business opportunity. And she had heard that little kids get in little trouble and big kids get in big trouble. And so at 14, she wanted to be there, especially when I got out of school every day. When I started my Mary Kay business, I was single. I was 21 and I lived with my parents. I was working full-time, studying full-time, and I didn't have much time uh, for my priorities, being with my family, going to church. Uh, I started my business when I was that busy. Well, while working my full-time job, I worked 50 to 60 hours a week, so, you know, almost daily, I would drop him off at a daycare at 7 a.m. and sometimes not pick him up until 7 p.m., so I, I truly felt that someone else was raising my child. The longer I worked in television news, the more I discovered I had to um, become somebody else. I know one of the things that I missed was how many <laughs> friends that I had had and how many women that I knew my mom had become friends with in Mary Kay. So the thought started just deep, deep down that maybe, just maybe, this could be an opportunity for me to make some friends. This opportunity is great for any woman, whether she is a stay-at-home mom who wants to get out of the house. And it's also good for um, a corporate woman who's looking to get back into the home with her children. It takes determination, but it, it's fun. It's not gonna be a get rich quick overnight kind of thing, but the time that you spend is your time. The thing that impresses me is the values that the company was founded on, you know, with the God first, family second, career third. I mean, that's unheard of in corporate America. I think if in life, if you have your priorities right, then, you know, everything kind of falls into place. What's the nicest thing about our business is that when we need more, we can work more. It's our decision, you know? And uh, so many times I have made the decision to book more classes a week, so I would be able to, to pay for the, the family ski pass because five people skiing in the winter, uh, it's a little bit of money too, you know? Get a lot of time to, uh, to uh, spend on us uh, and uh, help us uh, do our sports and uh, yeah, be around us very... I never felt like she was working. She was, you know, doing Mary Kay, but she wasn't working really. <laughs> That's what I taught. As they grew up, I was able to change my schedule and work around them more. Mary Kay Business Benefit Karime 
uh, on the basis that uh, she can schedule her own meetings, uh, skincare classes when it's convenient to her, also that uh, flexibility that she's got working from the house, and if in the near future we decide to have kids, that would be very, very flexible. We're a very close family. They're an hour and a half from me. We try to be together at least once a week. We go to church together. We have cookouts. We celebrate birthdays. And thanks, Mary Kay. I can see them anytime and be there when it's important. <laughs> She didn't have that type of freedom working in the corporate world. But with Mary Kay, it's really given a lot of freedom, more independence. She makes her own schedule. She leaves when she wants to leave. She gets up <laughs> when she wants to leave. It's, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I would have never, ever dreamed in a million years that my life would be the way that it is now. When I quit my job to focus on my Mary Kay business entirely, the very first day we woke up and I looked at Alec and I said, let's go on a bike ride. Because we had the freedom to do that. What I have found is flexibility and a balance in my life to be the kind of mother that I've always wanted to be and the kind of friend and daughter and sister just because I'm happier. It's very comforting for me to, to know that there's something like that there. For me, for women all around the world. I love that. Now my life is in balance and I have the opportunity to decide what I want to do and be in charge of my, my own future. It's been a privilege to, to be raised in a family with those values, with Mary Kay values. And uh, I think that it's what we need right now in our society mm -hmm. and uh, for future children and future families. Like ourselves. <laughs> like ourselves. And we're going to carry that all our lives. I always felt like that I came before my mom's Mary Kay business. Even though I know she worked hard, I saw all of that, but she really took Mary Kay's priorities to heart and I always felt like I came first. I think it was one of the best life lessons that I could have learned was watching my mom and I know it helped shape the person that I am today. To me the the money issue especially when you're talking about starting up you know with the starter kit and signing up that's just it makes me laugh sometimes I know I've been to Walmart I've been to Target it takes me five minutes you know, to spend a hundred dollars, and uh, you know the the starter kit uh, and signing up and getting started with your business, a hundred dollars. I mean, it, people if they want to to find a hundred dollars to spend it on something, they will. And uh, it's all it's all a matter of priorities and and uh, you know just big thinking. You know, it's not that oh that's a hundred dollars. It's no, it's a hundred dollars will open the door to an incredible journey, incredible life, opportunities galore. And, um, you know, as far as inventory is concerned, it's, it's not something you have to do. But if, if you're going to start a business, why would you start a business uh, that doesn't have the full advantages of being successful? I've never seen anything set up like this. I mean, just I've seen Menina call like top national sales directors, no problem. They call back, there's no hesitation. Mm -hmm. In my world, if I try to call the owner of a company, it may take a few weeks before anyone even gets back to me. Okay. And even then, it's probably a secretary saying, okay, you can call them at this time on this day. But in the Mary Kay business, it just seems like everyone is very supportive. Everyone wants to see the next person succeed, mm -hmm. which to me, you don't see that anywhere. A lot of uh, the women she works with, a lot of them have big degrees, have PhDs, and they could be working in big jobs and uh, making uh, good money too, but they're not with their kids, they're not mm. with their families. You know, you have children, you want to take care of them, you want to make them grow, you want to make them self-confident, you want to make them happy, you want to make them free, free thinkers. So, by Mireille being who she was, 
then it had a, a great influence on our family, on the kids. And my job requires me to help in other people with their labor needs. I make sure they get good benefits, wage increase, and things of that nature. Um, and compared with Mary Kay, I personally have a very high opinion about Mary Kay because Mary Kay is a company that really emphasizes good work ethics. On top of that, they also make sure people are being treated right and is provided with the opportunity to grow their business. You have the opportunity to be successful. Um, you're your own boss. You don't have to worry about anybody else with the company. You do. You, you work your business how you want to. Uh, build your team. Sell your product. Uh, the company, just like any other company, gives you incentives uh, for working hard. And uh, you know it's it's a great company, and I, I would I would highly recommend it. I would just tell all of the husbands to just please be patient give their wives a chance to actually work the business because mm -hmm. it doesn't happen overnight. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have the misconception mm -hmm. that once they jump into the business, it's gonna happen right away. You have to work the business. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's just like, it's the same in any business. Mm -hmm. You have to take the time, you're gonna have to take the baby steps. Mm -hmm. And as you do it, I mean, the numbers grow and the business grows.